Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.5 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is find I0 in the circuit in figure P5.5 if the op M is ideal. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. We have the one of the terminal of the op M is connected to the ground. So we will have the voltage here is equal to zero. So we'll have P here is equal to zero volt. And because the voltage in the two terminal of the op M is the same. So here we also have zero volt here. So maybe let's name that as VA. And we take a note that VA is equal to zero volt. Because the other terminal is connected to the ground. Okay. And now let's assume the direction of the current here. This I just follow the current source. So I will have here. And that will goes inside the op and goes there. And then we will have this one here. And for this one I will name this node here as V0. Okay, and I will assume the direction of the current. This will go down and this also go down. Okay, now let's do KCL at VA. KCL at VA. KCL at not VA. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. The only current that goes in is from this one, and that current is 0 0.5 milliampere. So we we'll have 0 0.5. And the other currents are going out, so this one is 0. And then that one here, so I will have Va minus V0. Va minus V0 divided by 10 kilo. Okay? And now let's let's do some simplification here. 0 0.5, 0 plus something is just something. Uh, but here we'll have Va. Va is 0 volt. So I'll have 0 minus V0 divided by 10. We can cross multiply. So we'll have 5 is equal to 0 minus V0. That will be minus V0. And therefore, we will have V0 is equal to minus 5 volt. Okay. That is V0. But we are asked about I0. Okay, let's do I0. Finding I0. Makan belum sekarang, Bapak. Makan belum Okay, for finding I0, Okay, what is I0? I0 is just V0 divided by the resistance here. Okay, we can derive I0 by the Ohm's law. So we'll have I0 is V0 minus 0. V0 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them. So the resistance between this and this is 5 kilo ohm. Okay, so we'll have V0. V0 is minus 5. So I'll have minus 5 minus 0 divided by 5. So I0 is minus 5 divided by 5 or I0 is equal to minus 1. And what is the unit? The unit, remember that V0 is in volt and 5 is in kilo ohm. So our unit is milliampere because volt divided by kilo ohm is just milliampere. And that is the answer for this problem. I think that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.